the taskbar. Over here in this tutorial, we'll look into yet another aspect of the intuitive Windows 7 interface. Without a doubt, it's the taskbar. On to the lesson. And here at the bottom of the interface, we have a single stretch taskbar with icons embedded to the left and right ends of it. We'll look in detail about these icons to the right in the coming tutorial. But first, we'll work on these icons on the left side. Even before that, I'll show you how to shift the taskbar to the other ends of the interface. Now here we have the taskbar. Just click and hold the taskbar and just move the cursor to the right of the screen. Watch that the taskbar gets detached from the bottom of the screen and fits in on the right end of the interface. Now you can go ahead and work with the options from over here. You can select the Windows Orb, search a program here in the search field, and so on. Not only to this end, you can also transfer to the other ends if you click and drag the taskbar to those ends the same way that we just did. But what if you're in production work area flow arena and you don't want the taskbar to be shifted accidentally? It's just a matter of clicks. Let me show you how to do that. Now before that, let me bring the taskbar back to its default position. And here it is. Now, right-click from any of the vacant areas here in the taskbar. And the option that we are concerned with is lock the taskbar. Let me click over that. On clicking, you see a subtle change that took place over the taskbar. Now, if I right-click again, you'll see a tick mark adjacent to the lock taskbar option, which wasn't there earlier. Now watch what happens when I click and drag the taskbar to any of the ends. Oops, it didn't get snapped. Of course, that's what we want, don't we? Right. Now to these icons. You should see these icons that are pinned to the taskbar by default. Now we'll come to the pinning up programs and stuff here in a moment. Before that, let's see what these default icons are in the taskbar. This is the Windows Explorer. This is the Windows Media Player. And this is the Web Browser Internet Explorer. Now why are these icons here? Well, Windows has identified these programs to be the most commonly used and pinned up here in the taskbar. So, you can get these options at the click of your mouse. So let's go ahead and do that. If I click once over this Windows Explorer icon, I can bring up the Windows Explorer window. And do the same to bring the Windows Media Player. And naturally, we can launch the Internet Explorer window just by clicking over it. If not, you have to go to the Windows Orb and go through the All Programs list. And you have to search for the options and get them, which does consume a lot of time and energy for my mouse clicks.